question, but what ways are you seeing the camp grow and uh, how are kids getting involved at all levels? I mean, the intensity is always great. There's a lot of talent here. Um, I kind of joke sometimes that uh, when I was in high school, I wasn't a part of this group that uh, that's invited to this camp, but it's obviously great to give back to the game and um, have 24 really talented uh, players come and hopefully learn uh, from some great coaches. Uh, this camp's evolved with our curriculum and what we're putting the kids through and also just you know, obviously the competition and the exposure we, uh, we hope to offer them uh, going forward. So um, there's a lot of alums in the NBA right now and, and about five alums that got drafted this year. So um, not saying this camp is the reason, but there's obviously uh, a great atmosphere here because of the talent and because of the competition. And uh, I like to get out there and, and compete with them when I, when I can and, and show them the ropes. How do you like working with all these kids? I mean, it's it's just fun. Uh, it's kind of a good way for me to uh, just you know stay stay sharp somewhat in the off season. Um, they they know one speed and that's that's on a hundred. So if I'm out there playing, I got to keep up, and uh, and your competitive juices start to come back for sure. So it's uh, it's it's cool to get out there. Like I said, show them the fundamentals and details of what we're trying to teach them, and then. Uh, just hopefully encourage them to keep working hard and getting better. Every generation says the next generation is different. What's different about high school kids as opposed to when you were a high school kid? I mean, you just look around the athleticism is crazy. I mean, there's obviously athletes from, from my day, and I'm not I'm not one of them, but uh, <laughs> guys that I played against and before me that you obviously look like they're high flyers and just you know raw athletes, but um, just. The, the pure athleticism across the board, uh, especially the guys we have here, it, it's pretty impressive and something that uh, you, you kind of expect as the game continues to grow. Um, but the thing that's, I think, the same is these kids want to learn. They're hungry. They want to be great at the game. And, um, and thankfully, I don't think that's changed when it comes to you know, just the, uh, the level of intensity mentally and physically that they're putting into it. You're gonna take a break this off season. You have been everywhere. Uh, I mean, I only got three months to get it all in, so uh, just enjoying every opportunity I have. You know, obviously, it's a uh, a lot of great things going on, and um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. I get some good sleep, get some some good workouts in, get ready for next year. But uh, that's just kind of how I go. Steph, do you ever take a breath and think, wow? This I think about it every day and it kind of just it helps me put things in perspective just you know how blessed I am to be able to do what, I, what I'm able to do on and off the floor the opportunities that I have to to even like in this turn like run a camp like this because I used to go to the camps uh, of guys you know who played before me and learn from them and just be kind of awestruck and eyes wide open um, trying to learn as much as I could and then, you know, fast forward to these last three years, and now I'm on the other side of that equation, um, giving back to the next generation of players. So all that is very surreal, um, but it's, it's humbling just to be in that position. And it actually helps me stay motivated to keep working because I, I don't want the ride to end. What does it mean to you if Bob almost resigned the entire last year? And just some of the contracts that guys took to, to stick around? Uh, I mean, it's, it's huge because I guess we want to. We have great p potential and opportunity to do some amazing things and win more championships. And when you have that uh, that chemistry, you don't want it to end. You don't want to have to kind of start over. Re I wouldn't necessarily say rebuild, but uh, just take advantage of the of the, the camaraderie and the chemistry and the uh, the vibe that we've created around you know the Warriors organization. So for them to get it done, to sign all the guys that they needed to sign and you know, add two uh, great players in Omer Caspi and Nick Young, uh, draft Jordan Bell, like, I think we got better. And uh, that's that's obviously a good sign for us to try hopefully pick up where we left off. So uh, I'm excited about getting back to work, but I'm gonna enjoy the next five weeks for sure of the off season. Steph, what, what do you think about what's happened around the league this off season? I mean, Paul George and 
Tom and Cleveland with Kyrie. Um, you guys, as you said, are kind of returning intact mostly. But what's your sense of what's happening elsewhere and how that changes the landscape? I mean, everybody's trying to make moves to get better and to become, you know, championship contenders. And um, you know, when when I guess before, even before our first finals appearance, we were doing the same thing, trying to load up and put together the right, you know. Uh, combination of guys and the right roster to uh, to take our, our team to the next level. So it's obviously great for the league that there is that uh, that, that much movement and and shuffling of, of the deck and and teams taking chances um, with personnel to try to get better. And you obviously look around the Western Conference; it's going to be the amount of talent up up and down the the board is going to be crazy. So. Uh, you know, just because we have the same team coming back, we're going to have to go through some different challenges and, and answer the bell. But uh, around the league, it's obviously great that that uh, that it, winning winning still matters, and and that everybody's trying to make that happen. What do you think specifically about Tyree and that trade request? What's that? What, what that's causing? Please. I mean, I don't know the ins and outs uh, of what conversations are going on. It's obviously surprising, but. Um, at the end of the day, nothing's really surprising in the NBA when it comes to uh, you know storylines and things like that from year to year. It's just uh, kind of the nature of the beast, and I'm sure if if something does happen, uh, I'll be able to talk about it more. But right now, uh, he's still on Cleveland, so you got you got to assume he'll be back. Steph, you got a very busy off season. Do you ever struggle with finding just some one on one time? whether it's just you and the family or maybe just you by yourself to work on your your own personal game. Is that ever a struggle to find time for that? Uh, there's a balance in that, but the, obviously the priority is my family and, and making sure I'm a, becoming a better basketball player going into next season. I'd be doing myself a disservice if I didn't answer or if I didn't own the responsibility of those two areas of my life. Uh, all this, you know, all the other stuff that I get to do, and the opportunities to run a camp, to play in a Web.com tournament, to um, go to go to Asia uh, on a tour, like all that stuff is fun, and it's an amazing opportunity. But I do find the the balance, uh, you know, to to take care of my priorities. It is it's tough at times because it's obviously I'm one person and you only have 24 hours in a day, but. I try to get, you know, make the most of it. Is get into the Panthers 49ers game in week one on your to-do list? I got it on my calendar, don't worry. It's, uh, I'll, be, had, I'll be there. Who had more fun in Asia, you or Clark? <laughs> <laughs> you, the bad fact that you answered that, you probably didn't answer. <laughs> so with your new contract, um, you, know, you were one of the biggest bargains in recent years for the whole league. Um, what, what are some things you want to do with that money you give back to Uh, there are there. Um, I mean, I don't want to get too deep into it, but for the last couple of years, trying to figure out how I can make the most impact off the court um, on a consistent and, and impactful basis um, going forward, and, and obviously uh, keying in on the Bay Area uh, specifically to hopefully leave a lasting impact. Um, for all the good that has happened in my life and my family here since I've been here in the last eight years, um, and, and obviously over the next five, to uh, to really impact the community for the better and use my platform, not only just dollars, but my platform and connections and and ideas to uh, to make that happen. So the the contract does put more of a responsibility on myself to to make that happen, um, and I'm obviously aware of that and have a great team around me that's going to help me do that. So um, I think that there's a huge opportunity and potential to not only win championships and um, you know, give our fans uh, you know, amazing memories, but uh, do some really, really good in the community more than I've done up until this point. Um, so hopefully that happens. Have you and Seth done much trash talking about we we have a little bit we haven't done much uh x's and o's but um 
we obviously are very competitive by nature, so we, we, we don't want to lose. Um, I feel like uh, I'm, my penmanship's much better, so I think I'll be able to draw up better plays um, on the whiteboard. Hopefully I won't be like Coach Kerr and break them every so often. Um, but it'll be fun to get out there in that environment uh, in San Francisco and watch these kids battle out. At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure coaching won't be the difference of who wins or loses, but to us, it, it will. It will matter. Are you a little curious, Steph, as to how the CP James thing is going to work in Houston with those two guys in the same backcourt? At least curious, I'm wondering how it's going to work. I'm very curious because I got to play against them for four times at least, so um, I'll have to see how, how they how they work together, and we're going to have to figure out how to beat them. So um, I guess the eye test may it may seem like it. It'll be a little different, but they're two well high IQ guys that know how to play the game and uh, should know how to adjust to each other if they have to. Just uh, it's going to be, like I said, that's part of the whole Western Conference equation. You got Minnesota, you got Chicago. I mean, uh, Minnesota, you got uh, Houston, you got obviously San Antonio trying to make some moves. Um, all the teams that are at the top have gotten better, I think, and then. Um, you know, all up and down the the the, the standings is going to be tough. So you can't you can't really focus on one team, even though you it'll it'll come. Steph, what was the two, first two thing you ones. did for yourself when you got your new contract? Did you get yourself anything? No. Uh, what did I do? Actually, I don't even remember. I was in I was on vacation when it happened. Uh, when it became official. I haven't bought myself anything or anything like that. Um, I think I flew my drone over like the hotel uh, resort and took some pictures. <laughs> That's all I did. I was, uh, where was I at? I was in Turks. So it was a good, good time with my family. Steph, Steph, you Last one. Steph, you mentioned Minnesota. And they kind of get lost in the shuffle with the OKC moves and the Houston moves. How much of a threat is Minnesota, do you think, next season, or is that still? I mean, it all is off in the future, but um, you know, adding Jimmy Butler, you have to assume they're going to be much, much better. So, uh, I mean, I could sit here and talk about each team and go through, you know, their strengths and the the, the threats that they're going to be. But for us to uh, win another championship, we're going to have to face everybody uh, as they come on the schedule, and um, we know just because we're the champs and. You know, had a great season last year doesn't mean we can just show up next year and sleepwalk through a, a, a regular season. We got to really uh, stay in the moment, put forth the effort, come training camp to get better, get back to our our flow, and uh, understand that the Western Conference is going to be tough. And winning a championship is always hard, no matter what the situation is. You mentioned before that you weren't necessarily the highest recruited guy coming out of school. Does it ever surprise you that you're now in a position to have the top 25 guys or so in play in the game that you can and kind of have, have your name on a night like this? It is very surreal. I mean, I, like I said, I remember where I came from and uh, the route that I took through the high school ranks and all that. And uh, yeah, I wasn't on any high ranking boards or on NBAScout.com as a senior or nothing like that. So um, it was, it's definitely different to be on the other side, uh, but the, the process and the, the goal of what this camp's about is obviously the same to um, hopefully make these kids better than when they came in, give them some perspective and some, some things to work on to hopefully take the game to the next level um, and provide an atmosphere where scouts can come in and uh, guys that will hopefully impact their future down the road can understand what these players are like and and how much basketball means to them. Um, and I think we're doing a good job of that.